Hey guys, thank you for checking out the channel. My name is Gene. You're watching Keeping This Tech. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the A7R Mark V's brand new autofocus system. It's funny because I actually did a video about my impressions of this camera and I didn't even mention the autofocus because to me, I don't know, it just wasn't anything that seemed interesting. Like, I, like if you know about Sony cameras, you know that their autofocus has been just crazy since like 2019. They released real-time tracking with the A6400. And then since then, it's just gotten better and gotten better. Apparently, this is a new generation of autofocus. And this includes AI and deep learning. There's actually a dedicated chip in the new camera just to deal with that. You know, it's not taking up any of the imaging processing or anything like that. Just to deal with AI and body recognitions and different things that it can do with the cars and animals and all that other stuff. Which I think, actually, yeah, that's, that's pretty dope. But again, I go back to the fact that, to me... Sony's autofocus system has always been good. And saying that it's been good is like saying water is wet or the sun is hot. Like it's just, you, you, it's understood, you know it already. And when I think about Sony's autofocus system and when I think of it that way, right, with the, the obvious, I do think about cameras like the A7S III, the A7 IV, the A7C, even the ZV-1, right? I think about those cameras just knocking it out of the park every single time. But I don't really think about it like that with the A7R Mark IV. I've, I've used that camera and I can tell you that that camera is probably the slowest out of all of them. And when it does come to autofocusing, it is slow. You'll miss more shots with autofocus on the A7R Mark IV than you will on those other cameras. And the, the, the reality of it is at 61 megapixels with A7R Mark IV, Sony really pushed the envelope. You're doing so much with 61 megapixels with that camera. You get the real-time tracking that they're doing, you're getting 10 frames a second, you're getting auto exposure and auto white balance. There's so much that's going on and there are just limitations when you're dealing with 61 megapixels. And, and they've really crushed a lot of those barriers, but I think they reached their peak when they developed that camera back then. Saying that to say, you know, this new camera with a new processing engine, right, with a dedicated AI chip, and the new generation of autofocus, what it really does, what it means, you know, at the end of the day, and probably oversimplifying it, is that it brings the A7R, the 61 megapixel line of cameras, right, up to speed with the lower megapixel cameras. So now, even though it's, I'll call it over the top autofocus, right, even though it's extra, it's going to bring it up to par with the other cameras. So it's basically overcompensating, if you if you will. And I think it is dope that it can do that, that it can recognize not just faces and eyes, but it can recognize joints and posture and how you're standing. And it can predict and calculate how your subject is gonna move. I mean, that that's actually dope. But again, this means that with 61 megapixels, a lot of those you know, restrictions or, you know, setbacks that you'd have with the older A7R Mark IV, you're not going to have it anymore. And now it's going to be more in line with the A7 IV. It'll be as easy to use for autofocus and reliable as those other cameras. And I think that that's major. That is huge. That's actually a really big deal. Thank you for checking out the video, guys. I'll check you guys out in the next one. 